Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Emily Lucy Wretch. If you are new here, I've got an Instagram account, a TikTok account, and a YouTube channel. And if you are regular, I'm super sorry. I've had two weeks off, but I'm back. And today's video is... I only went and did a Zara order, which I know is really unlike me, but I was seeing some things online and I thought, I'm just gonna give it a go. And I've heard really bad stories about sizing, so... Oh, I sized up. I've got an extra large in most things, and even that just fit me. So let's just let's begin. This is going to be an interesting one. So I got five items. I did actually have more in my basket, but I didn't realise. Obviously, I'm not a an avid um, Zara shopper. But by the time I got to the end of my basket, some of the items had left my basket so I didn't even realise and I put this through but there's definitely more than five items in my basket. I really wanted this dress which was in my basket but then as I paid realised it wasn't in my basket and I thought do you know what I'm not paying for shipping it twice when I already have had such bad experiences with Zara fitting me and stuff like that so I thought I'll see how this lot goes and then if it works out well I'll do another I'll do another order I'll be a Zara shopper. So the first thing I got was this blazer and Oh my gosh, I was pleasantly surprised. I put it on in a size large. It is $79.99, which is very expensive for a blazer. I'm used to Nasty Girl like I'm wearing right now. I'm used to Boohoo. I'm used to Missy Empire blazers. So none of them are hitting this £80 mark. But I have to say, wow, the quality of this blazer, I... Oh, I just love it. I wore it all weekend in London with various different outfits and I have to say the fit of it is just so, so nice. I didn't want to include a video of me trying it on but like I said, I wore it all weekend in London. I got makeup and fake tan all on the collar and it's just it just looks a bit tired and um, because it was a really hot weekend in London so I need to get it dry cleaned. I'm not willing to show my dirty laundry on on the channel so this is some photos of me wearing it and I will also be wearing it in the next item that I want to talk to you guys about which is this linen blend drip skirt in an XL I got this one and it is $29.99 and oh my gosh love it I actually did this video on TikTok and on Instagram and it's had over a million views combined. Honestly, everybody is loving this combo and so am I because I have to introduce you to someone. So in my last video that I uploaded, which was about two weeks ago now, I said that I was finally at a stage where I'd been saving and I wanted to treat myself to a designer bag before we went to London or while we are in London. And I did just that, guys. So I want you to introduce you to my firstborn. Like I said, I've never had a designer bag before because I've always been like, I don't, I don't have an you know, income to just be spending on a bag, but I've been really wise with all my money recently, I invested it into my business, which just launched. If you haven't already checked it out, visit elrstyle.com. My mid-size clothing range is now live. But I've been really, really good with my money for the last, I would say probably two years. Invested it into my business, saving, and then I just thought, you know what, I'm actually gonna treat myself to something a little bit bougie to really like mark the occasion. I mean, I'm not gonna be one of those people that's shopping in Balenciaga and Prada every week, cause I'm just not. But in terms of, you know, treating myself for a one-off, I've done it. And here she is. <gasps> oh my God, I just love her so much. Oh, she's undone. And I'm so surprised she actually goes with so many things. She's beautiful. And I'll show you inside. It's probably a little bit messy. Girl. Mask. She is just a vibe. And she goes with so many of these Zara bits. So while I was in London, I wore her with all my Zara bits. And oh, I just love her so much. I actually got this one from Farfetch. And I actually noticed that they always do discount codes. So I actually got, I think it was 10% off with Farfetch and then I just used an affiliate link to buy it myself and I actually got like 200 and something quid knocked off so I got myself a little bargain and I just love her so much so she goes with this outfit which again I just mentioned is one that is getting a lot of tension at the moment which is the linen skirt with a bodysuit and then the Zara blazer over the top with that 
beautiful new addition to my wardrobe. Then I've also thought about putting it together with loads of different bits to make it a bit more casual because that is obviously a very like luxury looks dressy look so I do want to show some ideas of how to make it a bit more casual and wear it through the day with flats so here I've put together this little video again of me styling this skirt in different ways and how I feel like you can wear it for different occasions it's one of those that you can really dress up or dress down and I have to say fit is so nice it is extra large which you know I'm just past the point of caring with sizing now as long as it looks nice then that's all that matters to me I don't care what size it is next I tried satin skirt with knot which I have right here this one I got in a large and again the quality is lovely which you know I'm quite shocked about from Zara I don't know why but I've always just thought the quality versus the price wasn't great but I have to say they've really up the game since last time I shopped at Zara um but sizing this was a large and it fitted but it was it just no I just didn't like it I was really shocked because I thought I'd love this one they did used to do a version of a white one that's not in like a satin material and I actually kick myself all the time that I didn't get it and I do actually look often to see if it's back in stock but it's not but that one I'll try and link below if it does come back in stock you can shop it but this satin one it was a no from me, just didn't look right, didn't fit very nicely and when you can compare it to the skirt I've just showed you, it's just a no brainer so it was a no from me. Then I picked up the textured blue midi skirt with a knot because I just love these knotted detail skirts, I just think that they can be so flattering on a lower tummy and just like disguise it, bring you in at the waist and they just go with loads of different things for a holiday, we can dress them up with heels and wear it to like a wedding, they're just so versatile and I wish more brands created these knot skirts because I do really think that they are such an asset to your wardrobe to mix and match things and kind of reinvent an outfit for any occasion. So that one I got in an extra large and I am actually going to keep that one as well. I haven't decided how to style it yet, I think I'm going to probably wait for when it's like a really sunny day and wear it with maybe a white bodysuit. It was $27.99 and I definitely think I will wear it but probably not as much as I will wear the original skirt that I showed you at the start of this video. Then the final item I got was this ruched mini skirt, dark khaki, in a large and I wore this in London, we went out for drinks in London, we went to Sushi Samba and then we went to Madison's. I mean I'm not going to talk about that right now because Madison's was not what I expected, let's put it that way, but Sushi Samba was absolutely amazing. So if you are going to London and you want to do something special, head to Sushi Samba. Um, I wore this outfit, which I absolutely loved. I felt amazing in it. The skirt is so, so cute. I got this one in a large, and I do actually think I probably could have done with an extra large, just because I didn't realise there was like a little slit underneath. So when I sat down, it was a full-on underwear on show. But, but I just managed to keep, you know, my dignity, keep my legs crossed at all times. Um, I just tucked it in with this I Saw It First shirt and I don't know, I just felt really nice. I borrowed my friend's Balenciaga bag, thank you, let's see her for lending. And I just felt it was a vibe with the black shoes, they were from Pretty Little Thing, wrapped up and I was just drinking, it was hot, I felt great and I definitely think if you are someone who maybe, again, like me, has like a little lower tummy area that you feel like fabrics cling to and maybe don't flatter your body shape in the best way then this kind of skirt is one that you need to add to your wardrobe and I just absolutely vibing in this outfit on bank holiday I just felt so put together and I don't know I just think it was I just thought it was like quite contemporary cool but also really flattering and I got loads of compliments so I was feeling myself in this outfit so that whole, that whole order of five items came to £183 which I don't know like I do think that's quite a lot of money for five items um, but now I've seen the quality I do actually understand I feel like these pieces aren't going to last for a long time and I haven't bought anything that I think is like I'm not going to wear loads of times so all the pieces I've bought are quite versatile um, I will link everything down below in the description so you can shop the links if you want none of them are affiliate links because Zara doesn't do affiliate links but there is a few others in there from different items I've matched with the outfits that you can shop if you wanted to and they are affiliate links so I mean, this one's a bit of a short video but I just wanted to say I am back I am going to be doing more videos again it's just been so hard to try and manage all the content that I create already and then having a business and deliveries and returns and shipping and getting more stock it's just like it's mad madness so I need to be cut in half 
and I'm sorry to say that YouTube definitely took the brunt for the last two weeks on that one but as always I don't want to just produce shitty quick content that's just like no one wants to see me vlogging I just feel like it's a bit boring so these ones I feel like I'm literally talking to my bestie and we're just giving each other style advice but I have got such exciting news coming up in the next few weeks. I am launching my own edit with a brand and I can't wait to share that with you and some of the looks. I went to their office the other day and oh my god, they look sensational. I'm just so excited. I feel like you're gonna love these looks and there's just so many different vibes. And I've really like taken into consideration what you guys love and the feedback you've had on certain things that I've suggested in the past and what you have enjoyed wearing and found really comfortable and also flattering and felt good and confident in. So. I'm so excited to bring that to you very soon. Oh my god, I have to do a photo shoot, guys. I have to do a photo shoot. Woo! I'm just excited. So I hope you have a lovely, lovely weekend, and I will catch you guys super soon on the next video next Sunday. Bye.